nice easy day today uh, working in Andrax uh, using the crane lorry today just to pick up four or five ton sacks should be a nice easy job <laughs> Another part of my job in the lorry that I is my main is my main lorry is has the grower has the crane, so I'm I'm the operator of that crane and the job was a lot of tum bags it was lots of bags of rubble lots of bags of plastic, and we could have done it by hand but it makes no sense to do anything by hand when it takes one person on a crane. Up, up with a big one. I knew Darren a long time and then I was away for a long time and then when I come when I was when I was out again I asked Darren I needed a job no one no one was willing to give me a job but Darren gave me a chance so I've, I'm loyal to Darren I respect him a lot for giving me a good chance of working, working legally hard. <laughs> we always try and give people a chance. It's worth yeah, giving always, them a chance always, to help somebody always. out. I don't care what your past is. Absolutely don't. Uh, just long as you can, long as you work hard, fit in with the boys, you're good. So when I first met him, I thought it was, it was. A, it, I thought and I think he's a sound man. He always looks after his family. Uh, whatever happens to him aside, he always puts his family first. Bit of a bruiser. Bit of a like uh, someone who who does like to think that like oh, yeah I'm the big man I'm the big man, which to be fair he is, but still there is a softer side to Des, which he would which he would not enjoy me saying anything more about. To be fair, I thought he was a little bit um, rough and ready, and he's got a bit of a scowl on his face permanently. Um, but then I got to know Des and that's not what it's about at all. So it te taught me a good lesson, never judge a book by its cover. Mm. He's also got a daughter, which he dotes on. He spends all his weekends with his daughter and sometimes in the evenings in the week, yeah. This is Alba. How old are you, Alba? How old are you? In, in English? Four. You're four years old, aren't you? It's my youngest daughter. How old are you, Phoebe? Ten. She's ten, this is my stepdaughter. I've noticed since she's a baby. And Scarlett, this is Sue's um, daughter. How old are you, Scarlett? Ten. She's ten as well, so both the same age. Me and Scarlett, then. Yeah. Are we going to go on this team? Scarlett doesn't want to be with you. She doesn't want to be with me? No. No, you don't want to go on that team? Yeah. Go on, then. You go on that team. See? So I'm on my own? Yeah. Right, whatever, then. I'm on my own. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he loves the gym, yeah. We, a lot of us go to the pub after work. Des goes to the gym. <laughs> Des likes to take his shirt off all the time. He likes to look big for the girls. He just likes to look big for everyone, really. Yeah, he, he takes his shirt off very often. But it's hot now when everybody's taking their shirts off. So. Although Des was doing it before it was hot. So. I don't think he owns a T-shirt. <laughs> I, I, I would actually, sometimes I think to myself, would I recognise him if he put a T-shirt on? I don't know if I would. Taking his top off, <laughs> making excuses why he doesn't want work and really good at driving a lorry. <laughs> we get to the next floor, throw the tool bag in it. You know what, I think that's the only word. <laughs> Jay, throw that in there, mate. No, shit. The bags were really overfilled. And I told them, do not lift them. Try to lift them bags as, I, as is, because the crane, what it works, works on a hydraulic system. And if the hoses, uh, they get so hot when they're under pressure 
they burst. And that's exactly what happened and I went crazy. But I, I told them, because I actually told them, you, you know, it's experience over the years of using it. And, as, and they knew what they do and they just didn't do it. Take the look completely off and then pull the pipe out and push the pipe back into it. Mate. Am I still, yeah, am mate, I still it ringing him? Might just come loose. If, it, if it's gone like that yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. So the seals broke on the crane, which was a bit of a disaster. But luckily enough, Potter, Potter come with his magic skills and a bit of duct tape and chewing gum and managed to get the crane working, which we managed to get the last two bags up and out. I, I worked in hydraulics myself for a few good few years. So I have so, a, so, some kind of idea of what to do. <laughs> Potter's a uh, handyman. Definitely the handyman, yeah. Saves the day a little bit that sometimes. Ga that, that gaffer tape is a wonder. Is that any of this? I don't get paid extra for that. <laughs> so I, I sent, um, so Charlie has finished, she goes through everything. Yeah, right, right, let's get a bit short. We're going to go around Charles and um, just see what's there. Put it in the front. Yeah. Who it should be all right, obviously. Oh, yeah. Make sure you don't put the tap on, the tap on the, to the crane, yeah? I've been at Dharma now for, I think, uh, about five years, uh, but I moved away for a year, uh, well, a couple of years, back to the UK, then came back, and there was always a job for me here, so it was great. Uh, I asked some guy for a job one day, but he had no work, but he gave my number to Darren. The next day, Darren phoned me and said, I have some work, so I came, and unfortunately, I've been here ever since. <laughs> Can't say a bad really word about him. Really lovely bloke, just a lovely bloke. He used to wear a pair of uh, glasses it literally looked like Harry Potter and his aspect and the hair that he had had sorry um he just looked like Harry Potter and I think I just said something along the lines of well who do you nick your glasses off Harry Potter and it sort of just it just stuck he never shuts up sometimes it's annoying but a lot of the time it's quite fun because he's a quite funny lad he's a really funny guy uh very witty. Probably one of the funniest people I've met. Just non-stop laughing. He's never, he's never serious. He's never serious. Even if he, I've never seen him in a bad mood. He's uh, just, a, just a funny person. I am like the class clown, if you like, at work. <laughs> I tell a lot of jokes, uh, play a lot of pranks and make everyone laugh. It's hard work and we need morale. So it's, you know, it's good, it's good. But the man next to me pulled it out. Now I know she don't like it out, so I put it back in. <laughs> uh, fishing is uh, my number one hobby. So I, I go fishing quite a lot. In the UK, I used to fish, uh, do competitions and uh, fishing clubs and things like that. So uh, I used to go fishing quite a lot. The Potter loves fishing, never stops talking about it. Tells us stories about fishing um, and it's just boring. <laughs> He loves fishing, he does. <laughs> anytime um, we get any tackling, we always want that, I shouldn't say. <laughs> um, yeah, any tackle that comes in, we always save it for Dan. Is that it? Now time for Potter and Des to have their calendar shoot. Ooh, Laurel and Hardman. <laughs> 